Hey guys, Vermont here, and I'm gonna show you how to do a hardcore effect. Uh, I got a lot of questions asking on how I did the lighting, um, like lighting up the sky, making it look like the sun beams are going, you know, like towards you. And it's really easy of how I did it, and uh, it's one of those effects that you can play around with. I don't want you to exactly like, copy me. I want you to play around and see if you can find something interesting about it. But um. It doesn't require a plugin at all. It's a uh, default. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 11, so I don't know if it's in the previous versions. I'm sure it's in Sony Vegas Pro 12. But anyways, you know, you don't need a plugin for it. So just drag on luminance, that way you're not blinded instantly. And you can see already that this does not look like a um, hardcore effect at all. It actually kind of looks bad. But before we get into making it look better, I'm gonna explain to you like what all these you know what the bars basically mean and what actually you need to pay attention to you know of course you can play with it but you know threshold is I pretty much opacity really you know of how much you want to show so I'm just gonna have it kinda dim so you can at least see what's on here first and I'm gonna drop the quality so it's faster to spawn because the rays is pretty it when you put on your edits I wouldn't recommend putting on um, the entire thing because not only will, at least in my opinion, it wouldn't look too good, but also because it takes, it makes the render extremely long. It's almost like motion blur. And then, you know, of course you can have like how many rays you would want, so, you know, you could, you don't even have to do the full thing. You can do, I don't know, you can make that like an effect, you know. I don't know, but, uh, you know, you got that for you. Um, and then the most important thing is the position. It's not really like After Effects where you can just drag the circle and put it wherever you want. You just have to kind of move the bars and see like where it is. So you can kind of see it's like towards the middle. And then for the Y, you know, you can see if you move it to the right, it goes below. And if you move it to the top, it goes to the top. And we're going to want to put it to the top. And we're going to make it kind of brighter. And, you know, of course you do this for the shot. So... I can go here and you can see it's on there the whole time so if this was a hardcore edit uh, let's just skip alright right here right and say we got the twixer going so <clears throat> I'll just save every sample real fast let's put 40% on and I'll take rays off of that you know, say you do like a twitch or something, I'm not going to go that far into it for an example, but, you know, you got your twixer, and then you can see you have kind of like the light rays. Now, the next step is, oh, excuse me, the next step to be for the light rays is, um, it's blue, and for hardcore edits, you wouldn't want that. So, next what you'd want to do is you can go and you can change the hue and you can kind of see it's already kind of colored so you can get an idea like where the yellow red would be so I'm going to bump the quality up so it's easier to see the race for you guys I'll just go up to full and then you can see I'm going to take Twixer off too just for memory purposes so it runs a bit faster and you can change the colors to what you'd like but usually a reddish yellow would be the best for that and if you really want to get kind of like a twinkle effect <clears throat> you could keyframe it and have a whoops I'm moving on you can have like the X position move and then you can see if the rays are s moving you know if there's something in the way then that will also react to that but that's pretty much it you can also mask you know like what specific areas you would like but I'm not gonna get into that you guys can do that it's pretty easy you just circle with the pen tool where you'd want that's pretty much it you know you gotta really play around with it to make it look good you know cuz I wouldn't go as far as that that's way too much in my opinion something like that and then have a color correction and use um for magic world looks I'll just show you right now I have Matchable Looks 2.0 by the way, so if you have the first one, then it's going to look a lot different compared, you know, mine to yours, but you can just use Spot Exposure, that's one thing that's really helpful with this, and then kind of put it up towards where all your light rays are, 
make it smaller and then you can have it match but instead of doing colors for this one I'm just gonna have it white and then to make it bright just move the stops and you know, if you move it to the right it gets brighter if you move it to the left it gets darker you don't want to do too much or too little you know about like right there <clears throat> just one would be good enough and then you can see the huge difference I mean obviously you wouldn't want that tight of a circle you'd want to edit it to where it um fades away slowly you know kinda like that and it's not as noticeable and then with a the color correction on so let's say we got a hardcore color correction on you can see how the light rays work and then you'd bump those up but uh, I'm getting way too deep into it you guys get the picture really easy effect and um it looks really nice too I'm definitely gonna be planning on using it in future edits so if you guys could leave a like that'd be great 20 likes is always my goal because you know sometimes you guys are right on the ball and we can hit 40 in one day which I love you guys for but you know the of the slow days when not everyone's on and 20 is the goal but anyways um thank you guys for watching and uh, be sure to comment in this below you know if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see and this weekend I'm gonna try and get a lot of tutorials out I'm not gonna work that much on editing I work on a lot of tutorials so look out for that alright guys peace